Welcome back to Black Clover Anime Review, episode number 78, which makes it like one episode behind, case closed. Yeah, despite the fact that probably by next week, it'll probably hit 80 before even case closed does. Yep, it probably will. This is reviewing the newest episode of the anime, and new episode of the anime is called, which is episode 129, this is a Devil Magicana, which is also the name of a chapter, and the 246 chapter manga, The Tree of Quiapala. I think I'd say you pronounce it, yes. This episode adapts from chapters 227, 228, and boy oh boy, 227 is adapted really quickly. Like, it is dealt with in probably the first half of the episode, and then like, there's a couple minor changes, like for instance, the opening panel is cut from the from the anime. Well, when when they get to 28, yes, pretty much you have it where, yep, Asta goes to the thing and sees a doll, not the actual queen. They do make one addition here, one tiny addition, which I'll get to. Yeah, she goes to the thing, sees a doll, and the throne's like, that's not the queen, and it sees the queen. Just lying on top of a bear, of a of a, uh, a bear rug, like oh so fluffy, and then they actually added in here the actual wind, the water spirit, kind of pushes them away. And they also added in here where glasses fell off, which that did not happen in the manga. These these next comments are complete anime original. Like the glasses fell off, and of course they talk for a bit, yeah, and of course they show off. She shows off like. Okay, Asa explains, we came here because we detected a devil in your kingdom. And he says, oh yeah, that's me. Pulls up the side of her shirt, thank God they show up one of her chest, her breast, and shows, yeah, she got the curse mark. And from what I can tell what they did, it looks exactly the same. There's didn't look that much different. Yeah, I'm quite surprised they didn't change that. I would have thought that they would have changed me a little bit smaller, a little bigger. But no, it's the same size, which is quite surprising, because that's what Judah Perry occasionally does, the cage of changes like that. And, well, and then we have a sort of a cutaway to, like, a briefly with Vanessa, Magna, and Luck. They appear briefly at this point. Now, this scene is actually from the manga. This scene they appear afterwards is complete anime original. Yep. They see the Spade Kingdom, that's the Diamond Kingdom, and apparently one guy took up a hundred Diamond Kingdom soldiers, and and Luck is like, I have this feeling I've never felt before. That guy, I really don't want to fight him. Yep. And in case you're wondering, that was it for Luck for quite a while. Like that was his in the manga. That was his last appearance for about. Ten chapters. He didn't appear for until Asta finally. Like, he didn't appear for quite some time after that. Yeah, I, I think he actually did appear once post time skip, but he had no dialogue. So he did appear on dialogue for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Yep. They of course bring a scene up later, and of course we have basically, and of course what was going on with Noel Mimosa at Federal take on the Girjo. Yeah, it's a very similar scene, though they get a little bit close up basically with Noel. But yeah, the scene is done with really quickly. Yeah, there's barely any action after that. They just go straight to the palace. Which, by the way, the little panel, the opening panel for chapter 220 is actually cut. Yeah, I have no idea why they cut it for. It's particularly very weird. And of course, they had a little funny line like, Ah, so stop getting kidnapped. Yeah, it's a minor gag in this series. Asta keeps getting kidnapped. Because <laughs> he's the main character. What series basically have I not watched? The main characters be held hostage by somebody. The first series I can think of where the main character is not being held hostage that I can think of is probably Yu Hakushu. That's the first one I can think of. One Piece happens like half the time you watch the series. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, like, of course, that then we have the queen basically change the office, and, of course, Clamp apparently took away her glasses for some reason. Yeah, there's no explained reason why they couldn't keep the glasses on. Even the manga didn't bother to explain this at all. Yeah. And, of course, also this is a really funny scene before, they, before the group comes in, where she basically does her little 
turns on her TV screens to water the whole kingdom. Yeah, this is straight from the manga. I gotta say, the anime did a really good job with this this particular scene from the manga. It's done beautifully, and as far as I can tell, I don't think anything has really changed here. No, not that I can think of. It looks exactly the same. It looks great in the Studio Studio Parrot animation. It looks really good, which I'm sure even the people who are fans of manga, if they watch this episode, it's like, oh, it actually looks really good. Good job, Studio Pirate. Yep. And, of course, they reveal that Nero and Asta, well, they basically reveal some people's stages. Like, Asta is an arcane stage, basically something above stage zero. And Nero is a stage six. Yeah, they kind of explain the whole stage process. At least Asta is going to get confused because it involves magic, not involves freaking elves. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, of course, they do mention the character of Magna Cana. Yeah, where he's more responsible for giving the, the queen her curse. Noelle does not react to that at all. She has no reaction to it. It would have been nice if they added it in the anime where her being shocked the fact that the same person who killed her mother also cursed the queen of, this, of, the, of the Heart Kingdom. Yeah, but really, Studio Pira? Like, I get the fact that manga didn't include this little reaction, but... It would have been nice to see it if the anime did, but nope, because it wasn't the manga, let's not add the reaction. Of course, also, they had this funny moment of Fenway sees the queen, and he's like, oh, she's so beautiful, and then he starts smacking his head on the ground like he did in the manga, and I was like, what's that going on, Fenway? And I was like, I have no idea. Yep, and of course, they need to, like, train for six months. And, of course, they do make contact with first with Yami. Yes, Yami first. And, lucky enough, Asta had a communication device. That didn't work. So, most is like, oh, I'll, I'll contact somebody. Contact Julius. Of course, he mentions, though, that apparently she knows about Julius being mostly depowered. Yeah, but it doesn't always mean small. And they contact him. He's like, oh, Mimosa, is something wrong? And then, of course, the, and of course he's like, Master Julius? Yeah, but you see that the Wizard King. And they actually, I do appreciate the added of this reaction. And it's like, you're so small. And Asa's like, they already know. They're like, huh? They did? <laughs> yeah, he's actually quite surprised. I'm glad they had that reaction to it. I'm not happy they didn't add Momo, uh, Noelle's reaction to hearing about the same devil who cursed the... Yeah, I think that basically, in my opinion, not have reaction to her, basically hearing her reaction to hear that the same person who cursed the queen of the heart kingdom who killed her mother. I think in my opinion, it was stupid. The fact they include that, but I'm glad the fact they added this in and it, unlike in the, and here's the thing, both in the manga and anime, it's a very brief conversation. Like let's just work together. To stop the, the devils from the space kingdom. And it's like, sure, no problem. And of course, Shane for six months. Okay. And then of course they, and now in case you're wondering, the scene where they leave off there before they go back to the Blackpool headquarters, that's the end of the manga stuff. Like, the rest of the episode is all anime original. Yeah, that's quite interesting. And also, before I continue, this episode surprisingly has got a new theme. I'm surprised. Like, took some time. Like, I love the previous theme. I thought it was really good. This one was quite interesting. And they actually have, like, a 3D image of the the mask, basically, we're, we're probably going to expect in the upcoming arc. Mm-hmm. I thought that was quite nice. And, well, let's see, what else? Well, pretty much like the remaining, and of course we have this thing where Julius is like, let's call upon the Magic the Magic Knight Captains for a meeting. Yeah, that little scene sets up the next week's episode, which is going to have that meeting. Yep, makes perfect sense. Yeah, pretty much the rest of the episode is pretty much set up for the anime original arc. Yes, we have an anime original arc for the anime. Now, the reason for this is actually pretty simple, really. Here's kind of the thing. The most recent chapter was 246. That is exactly 18 chapters after they finished 228. Yep. The whole point of this anime original, which, by the way, the creator of the series is working with Studio Para. He's basically as a... I think he's working as a consultant or supervisor. One of those two. I think he's supervisor. And pretty much we're going to explore what exactly happened during the six-month jump, which 
I gotta say, that's actually pretty smart of the anime to do. Because I'm sure that the writer probably didn't have time to do this. So he just probably just jumped in six months later and he was like, oh, we have new outfits, everybody. Yep. We're actually going to show it, which is quite good for the anime to do. And I'm sure that probably Para basically still wants to keep this anime series on for a little bit, for a little while until they get enough material with the manga to finally start adapting the next arc. Which, if you're going to do this for six months, then, yeah, by October, we're going to take a hiatus. Unless, of course, somehow in six months we have enough material from the manga to start adapting it. Though, I have heard something that after this coming October, that the series is going on hiatus. Yeah. For how long? No idea. But as for what happens the remaining five minutes. Well, everybody's back at Blackwood headquarters. Basically, Asa debriefs everybody. Oh, they do make, oh, I almost forgot. They do make one small wording change here. In the manga, they... The Wizard King refers to Queen of the Heart Kingdom as Princess of the Heart Kingdom. In the anime, it's Queen. If that makes sense due to the fact they constantly refer to the episode as Queen and Princess. It's perfectly fine. I think it's an okay word change. Mm -hmm. Now I should point out though, the last couple pages of 228 are not adapted for this episode. You know, we see brief people's faces and we see Yuno know looking at, looking at a distance and you see Belle there too. Yeah, those two pages are not in the episode. Yeah, they actually stop in 228 with the second to last, with the third to last page of the chapter. Yes. Now they get the briefing, basically what happened, and of course Noel basically trying to get training enough to basically take on ma magic, kind of which by the way currently she hasn't taken on yet. And of course, luck debriefing everybody what happened at the board between the diamond and and. Black in the Clover Kingdom. Yep. Which, that made sense to happen. Yep. And we see Zora in this episode, which has been quite some time since he was last seen. I think the last time physically he was seen in an episode was actually the filler episode that came before these episodes. I think it was back in 225, I think it was. It's been a few episodes last seen him. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He just basically slept the whole period of time. I was looking for... Yami's magical beast. Yep. And, well, he basically reads a train, be a, like, we train beat these devils. Fine. Whatever. Yep. Oh, in case you're wondering, does Zort actually physically appear in 228? He does. He appears in that page as a faces. Yeah. But he doesn't say anything. I appreciate sure the enemy actually gives something to do, at least gives some dialogue. I like the actual chapter that gave nothing to do. Mm hmm. Yep. And, well, we have a closing sequence where we see a lot of people kind of what they're up to. We see a scene of, well, like in the closing credits we see, like, Vanessa at a cafe. And you see Charmy basically drooling at, like, some food. And we see apparently Yuna coming out of a shop that's actually gray. We also see, the first thing you see is Mimosa and Noel. And apparently it looks like maybe it could be Mimosa's house or it could probably be either in Mimosa's room or Noel's room. I don't know which one. They're all bedrooms in our house. And Asta's not really see what she's doing. Oh, we do is a chance to see Charlotte and Soul. And we see a little off to see Megalana, the captain of the Crimson Alliance. And next to Charlotte is Dorothy, the captain of the Coral Peacocks. Yep, she's seen this, this close sequence. And the last thing you see before the credits is Asta and Noel looking at each other. Now, I'm thinking, though, okay, what happened to Clover Clips, the, the Petty Clover? Has the anime stopped doing that? Because I thought that was really, I love the Petty Clover stuff. Apparently, the last couple episodes, we haven't had any. Which, I'm like, that's weird. Probably because they haven't had, like, a, like a particular line that everyone thought was, the studio thought was so funny. Now, there's either one or two reasons why they decided to stop doing it. One reason is probably because of money. That's probably the reason why. Or two, there was no funny line in this episode. They could simply just turn into a gag. Like they do in like every episode of the series. That's just my personal guess anyways. But it's sad to see the, the Petty Clover moments go. A.K.A. the dub for it was Clover Clips. Yeah, this is something though. Probably because they also did an episode of the series where it was entirely done in the animation of the Clover Clips. 
Yeah, they did the episode was a filler. Yeah, it might that's my purse, I guess. That or they probably just really wanted to squeeze more time into the actual story than do the actual particular moment. Yep. Alright, now for the new chapter in the manga. If I can get the move here. There we go, which is the tree of Kapoya. We see Asta look like he's about to be drowned in something. And he basically wakes up and he cannot move. Goosh can't move either. Though he's on top of like a cherry or something. And we see that Yami Strike did hit him. But he has a regeneration ability. And he's laughing about who thought I use this magic. And Yami's like, oh crap, I can't get enough of this. Magnificent Yami. I was bored, tired of everything. Vanessa basically is wondering, like, what the heck is going on here? Then we see a flash that looks like his backstory, where apparently there's nothing inside of my mouse. Yeah, having sex with a woman, killing a a dog, killing much people, and people cheering him. So, okay, that's interesting. And wants to channel, like, I say you, you said it was a key that will link us on the world. You got the wrong number. I don't have a freakish power. I don't have a freakish power like that. <laughs> what links this world to the other world? So we put it's a magic channel called the Tree of Capilla. And what's required to create it? Arcane stage, dark magic, and world tree magic. That's right. That will be you, Yami, and William Bonchance. That guy knows about Bonchance. So hypothetically, if this world is linked to the underworld, what happens? The devils pour in. A world crawling with devils, a place with rim with every squid of malice. I was like shocked here. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this, aren't you, Yami? Looks like we have to really wipe that wipe you out right here. And we cut to a snowy place. We see a, a couple of looks like magical knights. Man, this is boring. After we come to Dr. Sables and everything. I think it's might be the Spade Kingdom. Here, though. The same might be a spy, a spy from the Clover King. Maybe I'm sure he is. Yeah, right. That guy's... Not that useless guy. Suicidal. I have a point. And then we see, it looks like charts of the sickle tree. And then we see, hey, you. What are you doing in Lord Dante's room? Ooh, you must be a spy, then. Now burn him, and then he just disappears. Where'd he go? And then he comes behind him, grabs him, and pulls him off. Like, what? And then we see this guy is from, wears a white boot. He has white boots, and he has a black bull's emblem on his pouch. I think I know who this is. This is Zora. Yeah, he's the one I can think of who actually has a pouch. It could be Zora, or it could be, yeah, another theory based on the boots. It could be Zora, or it could be... Asta. Asta is a possibility. Yeah. But it can actually cannot be Asta because he's unconscious at the he's at the Black Bull headquarters. So who could this be? Aside from Zora, the only people I can see possibly this being is let's see. This could be Fenrel. It could be Zora. It could be Fenrel. That's a possibility. Let's see. But who would have a a bag like this? I mean, the white boots basically seem it could be Austin because he has white boots now. But no, it's not Austin. Austin is a black boot headquarters. So these people who I think it could be it could be Zora, it could be Fenrir, Mimosa. No, I highly doubt it should be here. Yeah, so I think it's Fenrir. Luck, luck as a possibility. Yeah, he could be here. But the whole trap thing yeah it screams zora yeah this could be zora but we have to find out next chapter but i gotta say really damn good chapter yeah i thought this little cutaway to the spake eating was really interesting because here's the thing zora has not appeared post time skip yeah this could be his first appearance and we might get a chance to see who this is next chapter we have to wait on April 12th, which is Sunday. Five days from now to figure out who this person is. My money, it's Zora. 
because the base and the magic and the way the guy is dressed, you see a little bit, it could be him. But who knows, okay? But if it was luck, luck would make a fuck of Rust. So my personal guess, it's probably Zora. Zora or, ooh, there's another possibility it could be Gordon. Gordon is another possibility. We haven't seen him post time skip. Yeah, Gordon is another possibility because, yeah, this might be interesting. He might be able, to, he might be able to pull this off. So it's either Zora or 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 Gordon, because the people who cannot be now it can't be Yami, Vanessa. Well, Federal would not be the sneaky, and plus Federal is off in the Heart Kingdom, so highly doubt he'd be here. So Gordon or Zora. That's the only people I can think of who this person could be. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm going to give this chapter of Flea a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I know I'm giving 10 slash couple chapters, but yeah, still a good chapter. I only gave 10 slash couple chapters because Yami, basically, we had a shocking ending last chapter. And the chapter before that, we had a return of Yami. Mm -hmm. Who looked like he didn't change his appearance very much. Nope, he looked exactly the same. Not that I can think of. I didn't think he changed that much. He looked exactly the same. Like everybody else who changed, he didn't. Appearance-wise, he did not change. Yep, but I like the development for this, basically, for Yami. Where apparently his power and William Bond is basically connected to the Underworld. Why these two had the connect to this tree? Hopefully find out about this soon, because this plot is so interesting. I am I am interested in this, okay? So, that's it for this particular review. I have hopefully about three more videos on what we're going to do. Next video will be Black Butler... And then Attack on Titan, and then finally, Sword of Roria. Yeah, I'm hoping to get that first video done today, okay? But next to definitely Black Bell, I'm going to put it up next, okay? To this next video. Bye.